to good morning hello and welcome to this date in history and actually um mtm do you want to uh, uh start us off sure um oh you were going through this yeah yeah this first bit. like you want to host us for us actually I should yes ask you a uh, i just got my camera on sorry a little technical <laughs> difficulty but yes this is this day in history for august 7th 2023 this show is about what happened today through anal, the annals of recorded history. Join us as we delve into yesteryear, not only for interesting and important happenings, but possibly to even answer the questions you don't know you have. The sources of all this information come from the smart device application today in history. What happened on this day? What happened in history? Historical calendar and the website on this day.com. For links to the sources, music, and anything else potentially interesting, please click the underbar of the description. I'm MTM. Today I'm joined by co I'm Alexander. And Noah. And we will be joined by the loon here relatively soon, hopefully. Great. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, let me, uh, I'm going to start us off here. Um, 322 BC, we got the Battle of Cranon between Athens and Macedon following the death of Alexander the Great. <gasps> oh no, I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how dare you die, Alexander. <laughs> but see, I Alexander. will not make the same mistake he he will, uh, he will made. Like, you know, my uh, empire will go to the strongest. No, no, no. Uh, I will have it continuously be a uh, council. This Omni Coalition will continue strong long after I go. So I'm going to make sure of that. I'm going to move on up to 626. Ooh, Stitch. Battle of Constantinople. Slavic Persians uh, are in a vault were defeated. Wow. So a conglomeration of a bunch of different peoples. What else do we got here? Uh, 1420, construction began on the Dome of Florence Cathedral, designed by Renaissance architect Filippo Brunelleschini. And hey, what's up, Sohan? Welcome. Hello, Hello. Sohan. Continue yeah. right in. I believe now, that's... Uh... Those well, are my he's, three. He's, he's Italian, so it's uh. Oh. Filippo Brunelleschini. Oh, yes, I, I have to turn my head into the Linguini. <laughs> don't turn your head. Hey, you make a fun of the Linguini, I'll turn your head into Spostrami. <laughs> Yo, how about that Caligula last night? Am I right? Ooh. It's called Caligula. Yes. Yeah. We, uh, speaking of, uh, Italians and Romans and whatnot, like, uh, oh, we saw the first, sure. uh, did we make it to the first ten minutes? I'm not even sure. Uh, I think, I think so. Yeah, it was just, do not, uh, like, anybody watching this, under any circumstances, do not watch Caligula. Like, and I'm... Just watch Pornhub instead. Yeah, that's Whoa. softer. What the hell is, what the heck is Caligula? I'm it's so a movie about there. the Emperor Caligula from, you know, ancient oh, Rome. Oh, okay. So, okay. but, like... You are immediately thrust knowing. into like All I can't even repeat what I saw. It was awful. It's just, it's just a bunch of perversions of Rome. Yeah, absolutely Got disgusting. It. But anyway, let's get back on track here. Uh, who wants to go next in 1428? I'll, I'll go next. All right. Mm. 1428. The last witch trials proceeding begins in Valais, Canton, Switzerland. First organized witch trials. Oh man. All right, here we go. And then uh, 1575. 1575. Francis Drake Fleet returns to Plymouth after a year spent raiding for Spanish treasure. Wow. Thank you, Uncharted 3. Huh. <laughs> or Uncharted in general. You yes. got another one two years later in 1575. Mm. 1575. Spanish troops conquer... Old water. Almost all inhabitants died. Wow. Some lived. Almost all. That sounds like a, 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 a attempted genocide, or like a yeah, xenocide or something. I don't know. That's yeah, yikes. Yeah, conquering water is tricky business. It's not really where supposed, humans are supposed to go. <laughs> They're all stabbing the water. It's uh, it's it's been a long-standing conflict for. A lot of nations it's what like the i don't even want to talk about it on youtube because it's going to get us demonetized but Trick, stricken down yeah the whole kind of C thing. Yeah. yeah 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 well mr um, noah um i think it's your turn now if you want here. 1588 yeah so in 1588 the english set flight 
Uh, sorry, set set a light. Set eight light? fire. Sh I, yeah, yeah, I said it my mistake. Set they set a light eight fire ships with pitch, brimstone, gunpowder, and tar, and cast them downward toward the closely anchored vessels of the Spanish Armada, scattering the Armada. And wow. I guess they got defe they got defeated that day because it says defeat of the Spanish Armada. Yeah. Right well, there. like they 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 caused it to scatter because they were like, they they literally construct like they they purpose. Re retrofitted ships to be just firebombs that are floating, and then they set them, yeah. you know, up they're wind. Gi they're, they're giant IEDs. Yeah. Huh. That's terrifying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. But then you got another event of interest here in 1606. Okay. So, in that, in, in, that, in the year 1606, possible first performance of Shakespeare's tragedy Macbeth performed in the Great Hall at Hampton Court Palace of King James the First. Wow. King James the First. Swanky. Macbeth. Mm-hmm. And uh, the one right after that, you know, it's uh, kind of in your wheelhouse with the uh, space stuff, Mr. Noah. Yeah, so in, in the Battle of... the In, in, the, in 16... Uh, in the year 1620, the astronomer Johannes Kepler's mother was arrested for witchcraft? Whoa. Well, that makes sense about that. Wow. Yeah. I did not know that. We all know Kepler, his namesake, you know, the Kepler uh, Kepler telescope, right? Like, there's a Hubble, and then, um, what's the new one? That's a, the Webb, James Webb telescope. Kepler. What is... No, help me out. Kepler was something to yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ke Kepler was it was the Kepler uh it was a telescope, I believe. So it was a telescope. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um Mr. MTM, back to you, good sir. 1620. Yes, as well. uh, we have a very important uh, French event that happened here in the 1620. We have to talk about it is the Battle of the Ponts. Boutier, French king uh, Louis the 8th he defeated uh, his mother, Mary uh, de Messi. So if you ever have a problem in your family, just know it's not as bad as uh, King Henry VIII. That's what we like to say. <laughs> your friends. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow, this guy went to war against his mom. That's so damn. Let's see here. All right. 1760. Fort Luden, Tennessee. Surrenders to the Cherokee Indians. Wow. Oh, dang. And of course, this. Oh, I'm. Oh. Oh, uh, did you want me to read 1714 as well? 82. Ah. Commander of the Continental Army George Washington creates two honorary badges of distinction and a badge of military merit, now the Purple Heart. First time military awards are presented to common soldiers. Wow. Nice. The Purple Heart has been created this day. Yeah. Well, the predecessor this is a, it, at least. This is a wild day for births and happenings, actually. There's a lot. I don't want to spoil it, but. Yeah. Well, like... it's already, you, can't, you can't spoil it. It's already been done. It's been <laughs> done for centuries. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? This is a history show. Joke. There are no such thing as spoilers. It's like, spoiler alert, open a book, people. <laughs> But no, this is a really interesting. The first time military awards are presented to common soldiers. So before that, you can be out there getting blown in half by cannon fire, and you won't even get you know a medal for it. That's hey, wow. But you get a shot of whiskey. You can do that at home. Yeah. <laughs> and you get to hear some guy play the flute. I fought in the Revolutionary War, and all I got was this T-shirt and gangrene. <laughs> <laughs> well, gangrene. There was this one. What there was this one guy playing the flute. Yeah. Until he got shot. <laughs> anyway, what else do we got here? 1789, the U.S. Congress created the Department of War and the United States Lighthouse Establishment. Huh. Okay, well, I guess it needed to be done. That's that's pretty interesting, war though. It's like, let's create a, uh, a, a Department of War, you know, you know warfare, you know, the, the art of, like, killing actually, each other. Well, and lighthouse then let's, is also... let's make something involving, like, tall buildings that help ships sail. <laughs> that, the, well, that makes <laughs> that makes sense to me because if you're establishing borders via war, you would want lighthouses that are friendly for your navy to know where the where the rocks and outputs are. So yeah. you have to establish good lighthouses for that. That does make sense. 
Then, uh, 1802, Napoleon orders reinstallment or reinstatement of slavery on St. Dominique in Haiti. That's not nice. Like, we just spoke about how France abolished slavery, and that's right, uh, Napoleon brought it Come back. On. Come on, right. Frenchman. Yeah. You are better than this. Yep. He really wanted that sugar. Damn. That's what they're growing in Haiti. Huh. And then, 1814, Pope Pius, Pope Pius VII reinstated the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits. All right. Huh. See, it's a, Jesus got a society. Yeah. Ain't nothing you have one. We live in a Jesuit society. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh my God, no, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sohan, eighteen twenty. Eighteen twenty. First potatoes planted in Hawaii. Ooh, Hawaiian potatoes, nice. Yes. Eighteen eighty-two. Also, eighteen. 79, the opening of the poor man's palace in Manchester. Oh. Wow. Huh. Oh, and here's a here's a century beef. Yeah. 1882, Hackfields of Southwest Virginia and McCoy's of East Kentucky fused 100 wounded or die. Yikes. Yeah, they've been feuding for... No, I no I think it's, it's over... Uh, let's see here. Hatfield McCoy feud. F E E U D. Why can't I spell? Uh, let's see here. Uh, 1863 to 1891. So that is 27 years? Mm -hmm. Question mark? 28? <laughs> I still have time. Bring the, imagine bringing them to yeah. family feud. Oh, God. <laughs> Wrong kind of feud. Put down the guns. Put down the guns. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Noah. Okay. Here yeah, we go. I got okay, one more. So... Oh, yeah, okay. Go for it. So, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, he has more. 1885, five German warships anchor off of Zanzibar. Ooh. wonder what that's all about. I don't know, but if it's. Now it's my Germans, turn, right? No one knows. Yeah, in 1888. In 1888, Theo Theophilus Van Cannell of Philadelphia patents the revolving door, which is kind of cool, actually. Yeah, now, yep. uh, urban legend, and I'm going to say urban legend, despite me, be I believe it is fact, but I'm just going to say urban legend says that he made the revolving door because he was such a chauvinist that the idea of holding the door open for ladies absolutely disgusted him. So, like... It's so much so that he made the revolving door just so that way he doesn't have to see it anymore. Like, it's kind of ironic actually, because by creating the revolving door, he also created the uh, revolving door policy, right? So um, diversity <laughs> hires are now a thing. Okay, that's a stretch, but I see where you're going. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Perfect, actually. I was thinking about doing that for you. But I, yeah. but ironically, uh, Chuck Norris can slam a revolving door. <laughs> God. <laughs> Actually, I've I seen a revolving that. door slam. Like, have you seen the video of the guy and like the door like like backs all on him and like it sandwiches him between the two? Uh, I've things? actually crushed my fingers in a revolving door before and it hurts. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. you got uh, a couple more here. We have 1896. Yeah. So I got two more. Yeah. Um, in in New Jersey, in the year 1896, New Jersey fisherman George Harbo and Frank Samuelson. Fishermen, well not fishermen, two of them, uh, are the first to row across the Atlantic, arriving in Lee Harvey, Hav Havre, Le left Manhattan, June the 6th. So from oh. June 6th until August 7th, they were out in the Atlantic in a rowboat. Wow. Uh, yeah, so they crossed the Atlantic in a rowboat or just part uh, of it? Then? Like well, part of it. probably it's not a rowboat, big. rowboat, maybe something right, more sturdy, right. but they were the first to row, so they rowed across the entire Atlantic. That is nuts. Right. That That's is not nuts, incredible. Yeah. I think this this one about the, you know, June 6th is the day before my dad's birthday. June 6th is the anniversary of D-Day. Well, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. They were practicing that, for That's the end of the war, right? No, that's our, no, that's the beginning of the invasion of, uh, of uh, France. Our, Normandy. Yeah, yeah. I know nothing about history. This is why we have you here. Yeah. You know, the end of the yeah. war was, uh, I think, uh, September 1st. No, that's that's the beginning. Uh, Germany surrendered 
already in 1945 by now. Yes. And as I we know, know, you know, Hiroshima was yesterday, and Nagasaki's coming up in a couple of days up here on Wednesday on the 9th. Right, and, uh, right, right. Yeah. But before I go off on a whole tangent about World War II, because you know how much I love that, let's get back on track. Uh, what do we got here? Um, we did that in 1908. Uh, I, I, okay, so let's read a good one. Here we go. Um, in 1908, the first train to travel the length of New Zealand's North Island main trunk line leaves Wellington, and that's in New Zealand. Yeah. Wellington. All right. And then now, Mr. MTM gets to talk about one of the most badass mother truckers. 1912 was the year when Progressive Bull Moose Party nominated Theodore Roosevelt for U.S. President. Yep. What a great decision. Yes. They probably had some tournament where they would fight to uh, get the nomination. He probably won. Yeah, just follow each other with no with no uh, shirts on and hairy chests. Oh my god! Just fighting in a ring for president. Okay, this is getting very <laughs> homoerotic. Uh, let's move on up to 1915, Mr. MTM. Doesn't help that you live in I... the Bay Area. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. We need that on this broadcast. Dario Resta <laughs> driving. Pew, Puget wins the Pugut. worst champ ever race. First champ race ever to average over 100 miles an hour at a 100 mile race in Chicago. The average. That name sounds French. His last name sounds a little French. Uh, please let him finish, Noah. Yeah. Go ahead. But that was the end of the yeah. thing. The average speed was about 101.8 miles per hour. Dang. So they did that in less than an hour. Like a 100 mile race in less than an hour. Now, uh, wow, Pugut that's pretty cool. is as a type of car uh what was what, what year was that 1915 pugot 1915 uh oh wow okay okay it must have been like something like this can you imagine going 100 miles per hour in that bucket oh my god like you'd be rattling all over the place like loose you have to wear like uh goggles you would need oh that's like a racing one right down there with the six on it yeah no it's the same body style and everything like yeah like they have goggles and everything but like you know, there's doesn't look like there's much, if any, suspension, you know? And I didn't even realize that they can get up to 100 miles per hour in 1915. Holy crap. Now that I'm thinking about it, Jesus, that is fast. Wow. But can you imagine going 100 miles per hour in that bucket? Like, in a tin can? That's, no. That is terrifying. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? 1921. Ooh. This is your third one, MTM, I believe. Yes. Okay. The mm. Dutch cyclist Piet Moeskops, I think that's how his name is pronounced, wins the first of four straight and five total World Sprint Championships when he beats defending champion Bob Spears of Australia in Copenhagen. All right. But it's 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 not running; it's track cycling, apparently. Yeah. So cycling on a track. So I guess yeah, maybe you're just like yeah. running around in an it's, oval. It's called a sprint, though. Hmm. So. Well, you can sprint on a bike. You know, you really like you really get into it. Like. Yeah, yeah, stand yeah. Stand up on the pedals. Uh, let's see here. Four years later, 1925, the League of Nations advised against Turk slash Iraqi division uh, of Mosul Gabayd. What the hell is that? Mosul. I don't even uh, know how to pronounce see. that. Uh, oh, okay. So. Um, well, this is on this day.com. Uh, okay, well, if anybody uh, watching wants to go down this rabbit hole, because we don't have really the time to, to research all that, uh, I'm going to move on up here. 1926, George S. Kaufman and Irving Berlin's musical The Coconuts, starring the Marx Brothers, closed at the Lyric Theater in New York City after 276 performances. This was later oh, adapted as a film. All right. Yeah, dude, it was... Those guys are comedic geniuses i love everything they do um, I gotta duck watch soup is probably my favorite of the marx brothers movies but that one's pretty good the coconuts you know, one like there's not many plays to my knowledge that gets a film adaptation and by like i think with that extent to my knowledge there's actually more movies that have gotten a play adaptation like the lion king you know but like uh yeah. i've I've Good. seen, age, yeah. like, I know that uh, the producers has a movie adaptation, and I saw that on Broadway back in 2004. So that was cool. New York. 
Uh, what else do we have? Uh, 1927, a peace bridge, uh, peace bridge between U.S. and Canada dedicated. Huh. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, let me uh, see if there's a picture of that peace bridge. Okay, so I guess this is the Bridge of Peace. Cool. The Buffalo Bridge. All right. Where is that? Like over the Great Lakes or? Uh, Buffalo, New York, I think. Oh, New York, yeah. Yeah. Linking it to Canada. Yeah, Peace Bridge Dedication. The Buffalo History Gazette. Yeah. Mr. Sohan. Yes. You got some baseball records here. Baseball, 1929, New York Yankee slugger Babe Ruth ties MLB record by hitting grand slams in consecutive games. For the second time in 13 to 1 win versus Philadelphia A's. Wow, 13 to 1. They got their teeth kicked in. I see that a lot. I need to wow. Shit. wow. They're no longer the A's. They are the L's. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Press F to oh, so, pay respects. <laughs> actually, um, I... you know what's really funny, actually? the Even the A's fans actually don't like the A's at this point. I went to a A's game recently. Or a game, a game where the A's were playing, I should say. And uh, the, 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 the fans are actually wearing green shirts that say, sell the team. And they'll chant, sell the team oh, oh my God. throughout the game <laughs> while they're like wow. losing. It's really funny. Watch. Damn, also, also 1930, large mob estimated at 2,000 lynched two young black men, Thomas Ship and Abram Smith in Marion, Indiana. Oh, man. Damn. Dude, that must have been terrible. 2,000 people, like, chasing you? Oh, my God. Like, gee. That's horrible. Jesus. Also, 1930, also 1930, couldn't... Canadian Prime Minister Mackenzie King loses the election to Richard Bedford Bennett of the Conservative Party. Of course, you lost. Your name is Mackenzie. <laughs> All right. I think it is now Noah's turn again if he wants. Yep. Here we go. In the event of interest in the year 1934, a U.S. court appeals upheld lower court ruling striking down government's attempt to ban controversial James Boyce novel Ulysses. Yep, we've spoken about this event several times actually uh, every year in, yeah. the, in the history show, off and on. Ulysses mm -hmm. uh, was a controversial Grant. book. Like, I right. believe they eventually did, like, did not ban it. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, let's see here. Ulysses, Lee, Ulysses is a modernist novel by Irish writer James Joyce. Parts of it were serialized in the U.S. Journal, the or the American Journal, the Little Review, from March 1918 to December of 1920, and the entire work was published in Paris. Um, hold on a second. Ulysses book controversy. Uh, for many readers as well as Joyce's literary contemporaries, including W.B. Yeats, T.S. Eliot. Wow, T.S. Eliot. D.H. Lawrence and Ezra Pound, the idea that Joyce's experimental work had been banned uh, as obscene was absurd. For many legislators, journalists, and other readers, the book was pornographic and blasphemous. Whoa. Oh. Yikes. Yeah. So, like, you know, the first thing that pops in my mind, you know, is something uh, that happened last night and a comment that you made, uh, Mr. So, and no wonder Caligula is banned in, like, half the world. So... But for further reading on Ulysses, please refer to the underbar in the description below. The links to them will, of course, be uh, there after the live stream. Which we already know the six things he's done before. Huh. Well, Caligula. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Mr. Noah. Going ahead on to my second one. In the year, in the year 1935, 60% of the voters agreed Nazism in, agreed to Nazism in... Danzig? I can't pronounce yeah, that. Danzig, 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 I think. Danzig. Oh, Danzig? Danzig. Okay. Danzig. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dan, yeah, they agreed having that one guy with the damn swastika standing over them with a bat. Yikes. Not his head, like, yes. <laughs> good choice. Well, here's the a good only one. Choice. Here, here's an upbeat one for Mr. Noah. Here we go. No, no, not not so uh, saddening. Yeah. Uh, in 1936, a Finnish canella? No, this one. Oh, we're doing that one. Okay. 
sorry. Uh, in 1936, the same year, Argentina wins the Polo gold medal for beating Great Britain 11 to zero in a final game of the, the Olympics. Olympics. First time in the sports is contested at the, is first time the sport is contested at the Olympics. Also. Final time, actually, not the first. This is the final time. Really? The opposite. Well, it says oh, right there. Oh, final. what did I say? I thought it said first. I'm yeah, you said first. Um, but I don't but have it cool. full screen. Sorry. So Argentina mopped the floor with Britain, 11 to none. Wow, that's wow. embarrassing. Yeah, wow. You can probably guess Hitler were laughing. <laughs> in the year 1938, we have a baseball record. And then in the 2000th Brooklyn Dodgers home run. It was their second. Ooh, was... fuck oh, the wow. Dodgers. Sorry. <laughs> the Dodgers are my team. I live in L.A. now. So... Oh, yeah. But they had their, they had their second thousand MTM, everybody is entitled to their opinion, but really watch what you say about the Dodgers because my mom was a fan of the Dodgers when they were in Brooklyn really? when she was growing up, mm -hmm. and then she ended up over here on the West Coast and they followed her. So, like, my mom was a hardcore Dodgers fan. So, watch what you say about them around there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, uh, it is now MTM's turn. Uh, yes, let's see my here. turn. Um... Did we talk about 19... Right right above that, I thought that that was interesting. It's the 22 yeah, that nations is actually that on the script. Up. If you want to take that, go for, for it. Yeah, so in 36, 22 nations lined up as the first basketball competition in the Olympics Games started in Berlin. Estonia beat France 34-29 to in their first game. I didn't even realize that either of those countries even played basketball. Like, Estonia and it's France. It's an Olympic sport, yeah. It's... Wow. Wow. Huh. It's a winter Olympic sport, yeah, yeah. considerably. Um, Estonians are so tall. I uh, kind of figured that that would happen. Uh, one of the, what do you have highlighted both here? Both of these. Oh, both of these? Okay, great. So in 1938, Nazis closed the theologic department of the Innsbruck University. That's not nice. And in 39, millionaire Howard Hughes is presented with the Congressional Gold Medal. Oh, man. Those millionaires always get a break. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Leonardo DiCaprio played him in the movie. Oh, yeah. And The Aviator. Which yeah. I think I've seen it or I've seen clips. But I definitely got to see it again. Definitely. If I haven't already. So, Because um, I, I, I skipped ahead and I saw the ending on YouTube. So, I, I yeah, I did see just clips. And man, dude, he does a really good performance. Leo, Leo DiCaprio is a good actor, you know? Man, he had, he had people convinced he was retarded at one point. Dang. What? what? Oh. Yeah. Okay. What's eating Gilbert Grape? Yeah, that was his first role. Everyone was pretty sold huh. on that, and he didn't even actually like his performance that much. He felt kind of bad about it, I think. Dang. <laughs> well, anyway, let's move on up to 1940. Uh, I'll. Alsace Lorraine was annexed by the Third Reich, Germany, during World War II. Like, is this a person or a country? Like, it sounds like a person because it's a first and last Damn, name. They, oh, they annexed a person. It is a historical region and a former territory of the German Empire located in modern-day oh, France. Oh, so right I'm there. About to, <laughs> I'm about to say, man, they're really serious. They annexed a person. Yeah, like, they didn't just capture them. They annexed them, like... Jesus. <laughs> That's intense. Uh, 1940 as well. Church, uh, Churchill recognized de Gaulle's French government in exile. Yeah. Because uh, Charles de Gaulle and his government in, in, in exile hunkered down in the British Isles, you know, while France was occupied by Nazi Germany in the north and Vichy France in the south. And we also have, 1940 as well, we have the largest amount paid for a stamp. $45,000 for one 1856 British Guiana. So, uh, a stamp collector, Ooh. like, must have. Nice. $45,000. But, you know, back then, you know, that's a lot of money today. I mean, a hell of a lot more today, uh, you know, back then than it is today. So, 1940, $45,000. Let's see here. 1940, $45,000. Would be the equivalent of $980,707.50 today. So you're almost paying a million bloody dollars for a stamp. Wow. I wonder if they were being um, taxed back then, like really yes. heavily, and that's what made them such a commodity, like so rare. Yes. Well, no, like this was like a, this is a stamp from 1856 being bought in 1950. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Like okay. in 1856, if the stamps are being taxed. Probably. Hmm. 
I don't know. But anyway, let's uh, move on up to Mr. Sohen. You got to 1941 here. I'm trying to find. Oh, here it is. Okay, this is. Oh, 1941. 551 Jews are shot in Kisnev ghetto in Romania. Yikes. Uh, but then uh, a little bit more a beat, kind of, sorta, right after that. 19, also 1942, first American office of the Pacific in WW2 Guadalcanal, Solomon Islands. All right, we're pushing back, finally. I think only yes. like a half a year later, give or take. And then right back to sadness. Dang it. Well. 1942 Dutch resistance bombs Rotterdam Railway. Ah, dang. Good though. And 1942 transport 16 deports with French Jews to Nazi Germany. Oh. Well, let's uh, let's have you take one more. You know, a better, you know, an upbeat one. You know, so yes. I mean, yeah. Well, I can't even say this is a because 1943 Red Army recaptures Bokodoko. Ooh. The Bogodokov. Hmm. Yeah, that's correct. Alright. Mr. Noah. Um, okay, so on this one in 1944, oh, this is a big one for me, IBM dedicates the first program-controlled calculator, the automatic sequence-controlled calculator, known also as the, known, known beta as the Harvard Mark I. Ooh. That's pretty big. That's cool, because I like compute computing. Yep. That's a good one for you, yeah. In 1946, we have an event of interest involving the education pioneer B Booker T. Washington. It, it, Booker T. Washington, um, okay. In 1946, the first U.S. commemorative coin of an African-American Booker T. Washington, or the half dollar. So he's on the half dollar. Man, I wish he was still on the half dollar, other than Kennedy. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is true. They, they changed that to that. And by the way, Noah, slow down a... a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Yeah, I was a yeah. little hyper. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's yes, right. he was. Uh, yes, Booker T. Washington was on the half dollar. Can you dig that, sucker? <laughs> <laughs> it's a reference. It's a Booker T. reference. <laughs> for your third one, Mr. Noah. Yeah. So for my third, uh, my, for my third and final trick. <laughs> kidding. Um, in 1947, the Bombay Municipal Corporation formally takes over the Bombay Electric Supply and Transport, or Best. Yikes. That reminds me of what happened. I know that this is not the same place, but it's nearby. But Pompeii, whenever I think about Bombay or Pompeii, I think of the I think of Mount Vesuvius in Pompeii. Well, Pompeii is a city by yeah. Mount Vesuvius, yes. Yeah, Bombay, yeah. Bombay is in Africa. Is it like that a nation yeah. in Africa or something? I believe it's Bombay. nearby, though. Open the Bombay nearby. doors. Well, that's something oh else. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's totally different. <laughs> Mr. MTM. Yes, uh, I was just scrolling, looking at some of the other stuff that happened there. Um, uh, the... If there's something Excuse you want me. to read, go for it, man. Uh, I was I was just looking at it. I, I just lost my place. Um, but we are at 1948, where American Alice Coachman becomes the first black woman from any country to win an Olympic gold medal when she takes out the high jump at the London Games. All right, um, 1948. High oh. jump didn't do anything to deserve that. You didn't have to take him out. Gosh. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now here's this something interesting. Left. <laughs> Police bar, white players, Lou Sherbin, Stan Mirko, and Frank Dial from playing in the Negro Games. Wow, so they're as serious. They were, as they were, they were called. They were called that. Yeah, the Negro League. You know, that's what the league was called. Like, you know, the NFL, AFL, you know, NBA. Just, just it's just a title for an organization. So because that was back, you know, during segregation, and they were serious. You know, like, you know, it wasn't just they weren't allowing black people into white stuff. They weren't allowing white people into black stuff. So it was, now it was wrong no matter what. But they were serious from both sides. So, you know, at least in this situation. Uh, but we also have uh, this one here. 53. 1953. The Eastern Airlines enters jet age and uses Electra prop jet. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see if they have a picture of that. Eastern Air... 
lines. Prop jet. Oh, right. it's a propeller and a jet. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. And the that's, name that prop is weird. Jet. It's yeah. oh, wow. That would be Lockheed Martin for you, yeah. Electro prop jet. Okay, yeah, the L one hundred eighty-eight. Uh, first flown in nineteen fifty-seven. It was the first large turboprop airliner built in the U.S. Initial sales were good, but you know, yada yada yada. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this link to the underbar of the description post stream. Uh, we gotta move on here. 1954, Charles Mahoney became the first US black, uh, or black US guy to serve as a full United Nations delegate. All right, that was a weird thing. It's the first US black to serve. It's like the first black that US. Is a, that is a very grammatically incorrect wording. Yeah. <laughs> black US citizen is the correct way. And or our, our first African American so Elon Musk is an African American. Yeah. He's whiter than chalk. <laughs> so, yeah, just call them what they are. They're black. Like I'm white. Woman. They're black. You know, Asians. You know, Hispanics. Whatever. You know, we are what we are. Why are we using such you know, stupid, outdated, and invalid terms? Really. Well, uh, we also have a 1954 as well. Englishman Roger Bannister defeated Australia's John Landy in a mile uh, at the Empire Games in Vancouver. First time two men run sub four minute mile in the same race. Crikey! Those are some fast blokes, mate. And then 1955, Tokyo Telecommunications Engineering, the precursor to Sony, began selling its first transistor, uh, transistor radios in Japan. Wow. Yes. So the precursor to Sony. All right. And then uh, back to Sohan. You got some more baseball here. Baseball. Oh, 1956. 51-year-old Satchel Paige Miami Marlins wins a game before the largest crowd in minor league history. 57,000 at Miami Orange Bowl. International League Marlins 6-2 versus Columbus Jets. All right. Can you, yeah, can you guys give me 10 minutes after we're done with the show? Because I need to yeah. call my mom about something important okay, to do with school. That, yeah. All right. Okay. Sure. Anyway. Also, in 1956, Boston Red Sox fine slugger Ted Williams 5,000 for a spin at heckling Boston fans. Third indictment in three weeks. Oh, you kidding me, man? Third yeah. indictment. In in incident, not indictment. Third incident. In, in incident. Yeah. Man, he you know, I mean, yeah, there, dumb people in Boston are what you call dicks. Well, you know, here's an idea. Just don't spit at people. What are you, a freaking camel or a llama or something? Like, come on, Ted Williams. You're a professional baseball player. Don't spit on people, especially your fans. Yeah. You knucklehead. Wait, uh, wait until the game's, uh, wait till the game's over and just whack them side the head. Yeah. Wait, what else do we got here? <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, uh, we can go to 1960 if you want. All right, go for it. 1960, Arnold Palmer's 20th PGA Tour win rallies from a five-stroke defeat, uh, defeat deficit <laughs> to deficit to enter a playoff, then beats Jack Fleck and Bill Collins to win the Insurance City Open. Your drink is amazing. Yeah, it is. Actually, I might actually have another Palmer later today. We'll see. Yes. Ooh, 1961, Soviet premier Khrushchev predicts SSR economy will surpass the U.S. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> you only good for one it thing. It probably will. <laughs> Killing Lorenta Beria. What are you talking about? No, well, the USSR doesn't even exist to have an economy to surpass us anymore. I'm talking about Russia in general now, though. Well, that's Russia. Like, that's today. That's... <laughs> USSR yes. is gone. Like, yep, Nikita Khrushchev, the one who took down Lorenta Beria. Yep. Yeah, and, and and he was uh he was played by what's his face Steve Buscemi in Steve Death Buscemi. of Stalin. Yeah. Yes. That's a good movie, by the way. Anybody who hasn't seen the movie Death of Stalin, please go see it. It's it is a good movie. But the the good one was Jason I no yeah Jason Isaacs. Oh, is that uh? Bill Mars. Yes. Is that our, our, our boy, uh, what's his name? Yes, Field Marshal Zhukov. Yes, Georgi Zhukov. Yeah. Yes, 
he is also in the Harry Potter movies too, as Lucius Malfoy. Wait, he's Malfoy? Oh, his, oh, his dad? Is, that's his dad, yes. right? Oh, yes. the, the, yeah. the guy who played uh, Zukov uh, played yes. Malfoy. Oh, wow. Yeah, huh. Lucius Malfoy. Huh. Luke he must have really Malfoy bulked up then or something. Not, bad, the, yeah. not the kid, the dad. Yeah, no, the dad. Yeah. 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 Not yeah, Drake. No. Anyway, Mr. Noah, back to you. You get to talk about Jacqueline Kennedy. Do we want to... Um... I, I hate to do this, but do we want to backtrack to the 57 and 59? Because there's some interesting things. Nah, we'll uh, just go over it. We're at 40 minutes. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, so we got to keep uh, on moving forward. But Thanks I do advise right. anybody watching, oh, please go to, uh, once again, go to our underbar for uh, all these sources and go look at all the stuff that we're listen, not reporting I, on. There's I think I need to stuff. call my mom about that thing all right, right okay, now. Okay, bye, Noah. Okay. Go ahead. All right, I'll be um, back. I'll be... Mr. MTM, do you want to talk about Jacqueline Kennedy? Sure. Jacqueline Kennedy in 1963 becomes the first U.S. First Lady to give birth to Patrick Kennedy since Miss Cleveland. Oh, so she's not even the first one. So I, I didn't even read the whole full thing. I thought she was the first one ever. So. No, yeah. So, so that would make her the second one then. Yeah. Or at it least just, the, the second one. It since just really happened. Cleveland. Like, um, being being president is kind of like a sales job, and and I don't know, being being pregnant together as a couple just kind of oh. I don't know. It's not not good for sales typically, so it just rarely God. happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. 1964, U.S. Congress approves Gulf of Tonkin resolution, granting U.S. President Lyndon Johnson authority to assist any Southeast Asian facing communist aggression. He uses it to openly bring U.S. into the Vietnam conflict. Yep. Kick yes. him in his nuts. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got, uh, oh, this one's pretty cool. Sure. British keyboard playing singer-songwriter Christine McVile, Knee Perfect, joins rock band Fleetwood Mac. Oh. All right. Cool, cool. She's a vocalist and piano player for Fleetwood Mac. And this is, this is kind of concerning here, you know, with how everything's going with AI today. Like, yeah. <laughs> 1970. The first all-computer chess championship was conducted in New York and won by Chess 3.0 CDC 6400, uh, 6, a program written by Slate, Akin, and Gorlin at Northwestern University. Dang. We just by, have been joined by... Uh, the Golden Moon. Yeah, you're only 42 minutes late. This uh, is I didn't late. realize we were going on. I, I said show soon, and that was at uh, 5 tell. And... Ah, didn't hear you. You said okay. I, I said okay. Yeah, you replied yeah. to me. Yeah. Go ahead. Interrupting uh, the show. Didn't uh, mean that. Old timers disease. What are you gonna do? Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's have you take one more here. Oh, this is uh, wild. 1970, a shootout at Marin Courthouse in San Rafael, California, kills four people, including the judge. Wow. Oh. Wow. That's like right out of like a. Uh, uh, Saints Row Two. Can't believe. Or that. like, yeah. When you go of, and rescue yeah. Johnny Gat, you you go in and you like cause hell in the courtroom. Like, wow! I can't believe something like that actually happened. That's, that's wild. Anyway, uh, while that was all happening, uh, WDHN TV Channel 18 in Dothan, uh, Alabama, ABC began broadcasting. Cool. And yeah. then one year later, 1971, Apollo 15 returned to Earth. Oh. All right. And here we go, 1972. Yogi Berra, Sandy Koufax, Lefty Gomez, Early Win, Josh Gibson, Will Hartridge, uh, Buck Leonard, and Ross Youngs were all inducted in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Wow. Sandy Koufax, one of the greatest all-time pictures. I am a little biased, but, you know, yeah. nevertheless, he is a great one. I like Yogi Berra because of his yogiisms. Yeah, yogiisms, you know? yeah. Like, like, as a weird person myself, you know, weird has to appreciate yeah. and respect weird, you know? <laughs> True. So, tip of the hat to him. What else do we have? 1974, Philip Petit walked tightrope strung between the Twin Towers. Oh, nice. there's a movie about that. There is, and I can't see it because that will give me great anxiety. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, no, I have a fear of heights, and even in, even on movies, uh, it's just like, I get that, that you know, that, you know, feeling like, uh, <laughs> I can't. Understandable. Yeah. Although I, I should try to watch it, like after seeing once again seeing the first ten minutes of Caligula last night, I don't think there's much more the world could can have me witness that's any more disgusting. 
Can't imagine what you was, yeah. You don't uh, want to. You don't want to. No. No. Like... <laughs> Uh, and then 1976, scientists in Pasadena, California, announced Viking 1 uh, found strongest indications to date of possible life on Mars. And while that was happening, 1976 as well, U.S. Viking 2 went into Martian orbit after an 11-month flight from Earth. So while we're talking the- about, you know, Mars, like, you know, water on Mars and ice form and such, our second Viking is is, is arriving. That's yeah. awesome. That's funny. Yeah. Maybe that, like they're a couple months apart, and like as soon as we found the Viking One found life, the Martians were like, "Oh shit, we better disable this thing." And so then they had to send Viking Two. <laughs> it's a theory. Also, that's oh, so his turn. No, eight the nineteen seventy eight thousands of mourners fall past the body of Pope Paul the Fourth. Six. Oh, six. Yeah. Huh. And as of 1980, John Lennon and Yoko Ono began recording sessions for their double fantasy album at the Hilt fa- at the Hit Factory in New York City. Dude, every time I see that picture of Yoko Ono, I immediately like you know s- stare straight at the dumb Xbox logo in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's surrounded by red. It's kind of hard to miss. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, 19... Oh, you... Uh... Oh, you missed uh, 1977. Um, Gary Gill. 1977, Gary Gill and Peter Aldrich. Musical San and Dona. Based on the film of the same name. Closes at Alvin Theater, New York City. After 1,050 performances and two Tony Awards. Wow. So what were we talking about earlier? So this is a play based off of a movie. So that's interesting. Yes. Huh. Uh, then uh, Mr. MTM, let's move on up to um, 81. Here we go. Oh. I am going to have to jump off. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, All Mr. Right. Sowen, right. enjoy Thank the rest of your day. Us. Thank you for joining and have a good one, man. Have a good one. You too. The Washington Star ceases all operations after 128 years of publication. It's wow. an old paper. That's yeah. that's something that old. It's really sad to see something like that go, you know? Yeah. Like, then again, Disney is about 100 years old, and I can't wait for them to bite the dust. <laughs> Brent's dying, that's for sure. Yep. Well, it's, it's another... Bad. Another Gret here, Gret Weitz, in 1983 of Norway, she wins the inaugural women's marathon at the first World Athletics Championship in Helsinki. 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 Finland. Yeah. Always do that. Bad, bad American habit. Yeah. 1983 PGA Championship. Oh, no, we're going there. Oh, go ahead. You can read what you want. Yeah, the PGA Championship men's golf Rivera CC. Hal Sutton wins his first only major title by one stroke from Jack Nicholas. And actually that was on my that was on the script because this is about how Sutton why were we getting Jack Nicholas? He's the loser. Like because you knocked off a very famous golfer. Yeah, but like, you know, if this doesn't get him, you know, his yeah. photo up, what it's will? Cool. Yeah. Come on. Get the guy some freaking, you know, recognition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about Hal Sutton. True enough about the photo. You know, like, yeah, Jack Nicholas, he had his moment of, you know, of fame. You know, get off the pedestal. Let Hal Sutton have some spotlight. Come on. You know? I know he doesn't have you know, anything to say about this, but this is ridiculous. You know, this is this is about this guy, not Jack. Jack's a loser in 83, this. 83, he had to be pretty old. Huh. Would that be the senior tour? Uh, Just championship, championship yeah. men's golf. He was 40, so he was only 43. So that's not a senior yet. No. So, uh, then we also have this. This is crazy. Some 675,000 AT&T employees go on strike in 18 or 1983. Excuse me. Wow, that's a lot of people. Uh, moving on up to 84. Japan defeated the U.S. six to three in the final of the Los Angeles uh, Olympic baseball demonstration event. Wow. Yeah. So not only did we got beaten on our own pastime, <laughs> but on home soil. <laughs> wow. Well, then again, you know, like, they, they do have, like, a lot of practice, you know, swinging the bat with their swords. Yeah. You know? So. 
Their really little awkward. brother was playing. They weren't. They were AFK. That's what happened there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, 1984, the U.S. collected its first Olympic gold medal in women's basketball history with an 85 to 55 win over South Korea in the final at the LA Games. Well, look at that. The women are picking up where the men left off. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they brought it back. Thank you. 1985, a delegation of the South African Council of Churches met with President P.W. Botha following calls by the church for urgent discussions on the causes of unrest, forced removals, and the emergency regulations in the country. More apartheid crap. So, that's, uh, we have another 85 here for Mr. MTM. Here we go. Radio. Takao Doi. Mamoru Mohi and Chiaki Mukai are chosen to be Japan's first astronauts. Oh, wow. Chiaki Mukai. Good pull on the names, I gotta tell you. Thank you. Yeah. And for the sake of time, uh, we're just, uh, we're gonna skip over quite a bit. There's uh, a lot others that I'd like to talk about, but uh, we're at nine minutes till the hour, so uh, we're only at 90, so uh, go, go for it. We have a big one here. Yeah, the 1990 cool. U.S. deployment of troops to Saudi Arabia beginning desert, uh, Operation Desert Shield. Yep. And then let's see here. Uh, oh, here we go. Court rules that Manuel Noriega may access some secret U.S. documents. And that's because the Panama Canal. He was a Panamanian general and dictator. Yeah. Uh, you know, I believe he took over Panama in a violent coup. He was an awful, awful person. You know, it, I think he was like like neck deep in with the cartels and all that stuff like just all sorts of awful stuff but because of the importance of the panama canal the u.s had to play ball and kneel to him sometimes like wow like you know and, and, unless you want to like go to war you know and possibly have them like you know uh like uh blow a blow a door or something and disable the canal entirely you know very very uh you know Tender, tender moments there. Yeah. Let's move on up to 1992 here where the Orlando Magic signs NBA number one draft pick Shaquille O'Neal. Thank you, so. I'm very happy for this signing, this sponsorship. This is great to me. Now I get all these gold bond and icy hot sponsorships. <laughs> Did he also like do some commercials for Geico or something? Like he was part of some insurance. He's probably thing. done Geico commercials too at this point. Yeah. yeah. Well, not at this point. Like I think he, he was doing Icy Hot, but he's, he was a spokesperson for a couple other things as well. He did a lot of, a so, spokesman for a lot of them. Yeah. And uh, 1994, we have the revival of uh, Hendrick uh, Ibsen's stage drama Hedda Gabler, starring Kelly McGillis, closed at Citroen Theater, New York City, after 33 performances. 1997, Garth Brooks performed a free concert in New York City's Central Park for HBO, later releasing it as Garth Live from Central Park. And then, uh, let's see here, um, I'll just use this one here. In the year 2000, Los Angeles Lakers announced retirement of former star player and executive vice president of basketball operations, Jerry West, named Mitch Kupchak to succeed him. Yeah, that's Kupchak. Kupchak. Jerry West, one of the all-time great minds Mitch of Kupchak. basketball. Mitch Kupchak. That sounds like a, 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 another word for upchuck. <laughs> I'm going to Kupchak. <laughs> Like, they uh they draw him very funny on on South Park in the uh the Water Bears episode. Uh, uh, they're who, getting yeah. Water Bears to be who fans. or Jerry West? Well, no, maybe I'm thinking of the other guy who's uh who's the NFL guy. Maybe it was for the NFL they were making Water Bears. I don't think it was basketball. Hold on a second, South Park NFL Water Bears. Uh, this guy. No, no. Yeah, they're down on the right. Jerry Jones. Oh, oh Jerry Jones. They oh, look, God. They look kind of oh. similar. That's why I imagine Jerry West oh, would be. Yeah. <laughs> he was a South Park character. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, get back to you, Mr. MTM, and I got to catch up to see where we're at here. Uh, here we go. This one. In 2004, the Cubs pitcher Greg Maddow enters the history books with his 300th career win in Chicago's 8-4 triumph versus San Francisco at SBC Park. All right. And uh, just because the Luna's here and I enjoy torturing people, let's uh, let's have you read this uh, one here. Uh-oh. You want to read it? Oh. In one of Cricket's history 
Oh. History in one of cricket history's closest tests. I'm already having trouble. <laughs> Despite a brave unbeaten 43 from Australian tail ender Brett Lee, England sinks a two run win in series, turning second test at Edgbaston. Now, cricket. I haven't said this in a while, so as a refresher for anybody new who hasn't heard me said this in the past, if you read something verbatim and you know it's in English but you feel like you had a stroke, don't worry. It's just cricket. <laughs> oh. That makes a lot of sense now. Yep. Ooh, here we go. 2007 San Francisco Giants slugger Barry Bonds hits his 756th career home run to break Hank Aaron's long-standing MLB record. Unfortunately, uh, he has an asterisk next to his name yeah. in the Hall of Fame. Uh. And that's cool and all, but I wonder why that's highlighted and this is not. In 2008, we have the beginning of the Russo-Georgian War. Georgia moved troops into self-proclaimed republics of South Ossetia and Tishkinaviga, who are supported by Russia. This is the first European war of the 21st century. Yeah. Why is that not highlighted? That is major. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, this is highlighted. 2009 TikTok single released by Keisha. Later received the Billboard Song of the Year 2010. All right, whoop de doo But why is that highlighted? Not the first European war of the 21st century. Come on, history calendar. Get your shit together. Ridiculous. Uh, we also have uh, 2010. Jerry Rice, Emmett Smith, John Randall, Rush Grimm, Ricky Jackson, Floyd Little, and Dick LeBeau were inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. All right. Uh, and let, let's skip over this because that's just like that just seems like a slam piece uh, get back to Mr. MTM I think we are reading this yes 2016 American swimmer Katie Ledecky sets a new world record with a time of 356.46 to win the gold medal in the women's 400 meter freestyle at the Rio de Janeiro Olympics alright yeah. cool cool and then uh, let's see here. Um, here's his name, Jim Furrick. Oh yeah, I think this is. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a good one here. Okay, Jim Furrick, 12 under par, 58 in final round of the Travelers Championship of the TPC River Highlands, Cromwell, Connecticut, becoming first player to shoot 58 in a PGA Tour event and first PGA Tour pro to card two sub 60 rounds. That's pretty Jeez. good. Yeah, no, 12 under is amazing. Yeah. And uh, you get some more sports. Like, I've noticed there's Mr. like... Mr. Big Breakfast, Mr. Big Wheaties. Yeah. <laughs> the man himself. 2016 United States men's 4 by 100 meter freestyle relay team wins the three fi wins the final in 3992 at the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. Michael Phelps record, 19th Olympic gold medal. All right, we get it. That's You're amazing. good at swimming. Yeah. Like, 19. 19. That's amazing. Like, this guy has almost as many medals as a Soviet-era general. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Moving on up to 2018. I know it's not highlighted, but this is pretty important, in my opinion. Yeah, Australia's I was just going to quickly say that. 25 how... million, according to Australian Bureau of Statistics. 25 million mm -hmm. in Australia. That's yeah. pretty cool. And then 2019, uh, 2018 as well. This is hilarious. China bans the release of Winnie the Pooh movie Christopher Robin after character was used to mock Chinese President Xi Jinping. So, like, you know about this? That, yeah. So, let's see. Xi Jinping, Winnie the Pooh. Because somebody, there, there's a lot of pictures out there. Somebody actually put uh, the uh, Pooh's ears on him. Um, there's a lot of comparisons, obviously. Oh, God, this one. Oh, <laughs> He put his hair on Winnie the Pooh and changed his eyes and oh my god. But um anyway, what else do we got here? I'm not gonna read that, that's disgusting. No, uh, yeah, me neither. Yeah. Uh why is it even highlighted, you know? Like what is wrong with Actually there's an interesting there's an interesting event in twenty eighteen there. Uh this one? No, uh, right above it, where Swedish furniture brand IKEA opens its first store in India, in Hyderabad. Ooh, yeah. so Swedish furniture in India now—that's cool. Yeah, IKEA is really going. And there's really a, good. yeah, a bit of a sad happening up above that, where the uh, Mendocino oh, yeah. fire becomes the largest recorded fire in California's history at twenty-nine thousand 
290,600 acres overtaking the 2017 Thomas Finder. Yeah. Wow. That was a big one. Yeah. If there if there's one thing California does, it's burn. Uh, uh, what else do we have? We have an Olympic gold here in 2021. Kevin Durant with 29 points led the U.S. to his third and the team's fourth consecutive Olympic men's basketball team or basketball gold medal with an 87-82 win over France in Tokyo. What, what the boy? <laughs> Over France and Tokyo. <laughs> we really are a world uh, species, aren't we? You know. Yeah, like, Mr. Worldwide, Kevin Durant. <laughs> Kevin Durant playing base, playing basketball, you know, with the French in Japan. <laughs> oh wow! And then uh, 2022, a ceasefire came into effect in Gaza after 43 people were killed in three days of violence between Israeli military and Palestinian Islamic Jihad militants. And then uh, this time last year, last but not least, the U.S. Senate passed Sweeping Inflation Reduction Act, an economic package designed to combat climate change, address health care costs, and tax large corporations. Mm. Climate change. More of this crap. Blah, 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 yeah. yada, yada, propaganda. Anyway, uh, MTM, do you want to close us out? Yes, I'll close us out for today. Today, that with that last date, we conclude the show. Once again, check the underbar in the description for any links you may be interested in looking into more too. There's a lot of things we had to talk about today that we couldn't get to talk about today. Um, but that is included to all things, but not limited to all things Omni Coalition. Mm -hmm. For your daily dose of past events, we stream 11 a.m. at Pacific time every day. That's uh, one central 12 and central. Oh, yeah, one 12 central, 12 mountain, two uh, 12 mountain. eastern, sorry. And two Eastern. There you go. Yeah. For all of ye, whoops. For all of you and all of us, I'm MTM. I'm Joined MTM. By. Golden Loon. And we did have Soen in the show for a little bit. Soen and Noah joined. Yeah, that's well, true. Then. Yeah. All right. So no, yeah. No. Um, We're closing out here. Remember to look right and left at every intersection, as we always say. Mm -hmm. And stay blessed. <laughs> yeah. All right, toodles.